in this video I'm going to be sharing with you a few earache remedies as well as some ideas on not getting this health problem to begin with. Now before I get started, down below you'll notice there's this link where I'm giving away a free video based guide on using various supplements, herbs, and alternative medicine out there. Have you ever been scuba diving before or possibly been on an airplane? This may seem like a strange and bizarre question. Uh, but if you've done any of those things, then you might have experienced some ear pain. This is all due to something known as pressure. Uh, the way to relieve the pain, especially if you're on an airplane and it teaches when you go scuba diving, is through decompressing or by squeezing your nose, closing your mouth, then breathing out. Like that. And then you, you, you decompress the eardrums, which relieves the pain. Now you might be thinking, okay, great, Kevin, uh, but I'm not on an airplane. I'm not scuba diving. I have ear pain. What do I do about it? Well, there's a lot of culprits that can be causing it, but a big one, usually what happens is what's called an ear infection. Right now, you have billions of these germs and viruses floating around, all want to do your harm inside you. And you know what's keeping them at bay? Well, your skin for sure helps, but your immune system is, well, it's important. That's what's fighting off all these different viruses. It slips up for a little tiny second, it'll lead to some, some problems. Now, if one of these germs or bacteria or, or something that kind of get in the ear area and start reproducing, um, then, of course, inflammation can happen, your body responds, and this could be why there's pain because of the infection. Now, the best remedy is really just to support your immune system. Blast these invaders into a thousand billion pieces and just get rid of them. Uh, this, in, this concludes something like drinking green tea. Uh, for example, one Harvard study showed that people who drank five cups of black tea for just two weeks had ten times more interferon in their body than people who just drank some hot water and they told it was tea. Now, the reason the interferon is so cool is because it interferes with the virus's ability to replicate. So, it's just, green tea is great for in your immune system. It's just very, very good. In fact, I'm drinking some right now. Uh, so, you want to drink that. Oh, oh, and don't forget uh, the green tea bag here. This can be very, very good. Just kind of put this on your ear. Put some of that water drip down a little bit. And the, the warmth and heat of the tea bag can be great for some ear pain. Okay, also another idea is using various herbs, or some people call it herbs. <laughs> uh, some examples would be like ginger, garlic, onions. Um, eating them can be just so great for your immune system. It's what, the, it's what I do a lot if I ever get sick or just in general eat a bunch of them. Um, but they can also be great for uh, your ear as well, so you want to eat them. Also, you can mix them together and make like this liquid and put some down in your ear and it could definitely help with the, uh, the infection. Now apart from uh, this infection, somebody's ear can be painful from something called earwax buildup. Now when you get sick, your, your nose is runny because it traps all these invaders and get rid, gets rid of stuff that you don't want. Same thing is why your earwax is there to kind of stop things from getting to your eardrum. And uh, if it builds up, well, you know, it's not good. And one way to eliminate this earwax buildup, there's too much of it, is just using some, some water, maybe some warm water. Or possibly there's drops. If you go down to a drugstore, they have that too. Now, to prevent this earache from ever occurring from an infection, uh, why not just have a really strong immune system? Why not? It's going to be so good for you. And um, believe it or not, there's tons of supplements out there and uh, some herbal remedies that can really boost your immune system like a Marvel comic book hero. Um, so, as I mentioned but, uh, before, I do have this whole video guide that can help you in shopping for these supplements and herbs. It's uh, completely free. It can give you some great tips on, on that, what to look for, what to avoid, and some tips on alternative medicine. Um, so, to learn more, just simply click on the link below this video, and I hope this uh, video that I've created right now was helpful. I uh, appreciate your time. Please leave a comment below with your thoughts and some ideas and maybe some things I might have missed. And as always, take care of yourself and bye for now.